So, I'm here in Edmonton, Canada. I'm actually filming this probably like four weeks ahead of this video that you guys are watching right now. And you guys will see the vlog from Edmonton um, and whatnot uh, pretty soon. So here's a little public service announcement. I am going to be releasing all of my lost episodes and a bunch of exclusive content on Patreon. Shut up, I'm vlogging. It's the first link in the description and it's right here on the screen, patreon.com slash mycamantry. If you guys go subscribe to me, you can see all of my releases way before I even put this on the YouTube channel because the next time I'm even releasing one of like 10 videos that I have that are super secret will be 12,500 subscribers on here. So it's still a little while to go before that happens, probably at least a month. And so yeah, you should subscribe to me on Patreon. I'll be releasing that next week. So make sure you guys check that out and there's a bunch of other rewards. I'm coming out with merch really soon. If you get to a high enough level, you'll get a piece of merch signed by me and a bunch of other cool stuff. Some of you guys will even get your names put at the end of these videos and thank yous every single video on Patreon and YouTube. So, yeah. That's so cute. We are getting in the car now. Oh, hi, puppers. Hi. Yeah, hi, Latte. You're in my seat. Darn it. Oh, my goodness. So, we are here in the city, like downtown Mackinac City, the tourist spot. And I just saw this fountain. This fountain right here it used to be really blue. It's uh, pretty green now. But I don't know if any of you remember what, when I jumped into that fountain. Here's the clip. That was one of my one of my vines a couple days before or a day before uh, my life changed, and that was really cool. And also, I purposely wore the um, the shirt that I was wearing at my first big vine. This is my favorite shirt for sure. It still fits really well. I love the shirt. And uh, yeah, now we're going to the Starbucks that I love. where I was staring out the window and watching my vine likes jump and it was absolutely insane. These are the spots where my life changed and I just thought I'd share them with you. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, look at that, look at that nice pink drink you got there, huh? Hmm? Drink. Buy my favorite Starbucks in the world. See you next year or later. I don't know. Um, girls. I'm a hey. little tired. I know you are. I think I need to take a fresh nap. A fresh nap? <laughs> a fresh nap. <laughs> Could it be? Could it be our house? Oh. I'm home for the first time in two months. Maybe more. I don't know. Ah, smells like home. I wonder if, uh,. I wonder if I have mail here. I think I do. I wonder if any of you remember how much I love this spot out here. This is one of my favorite spots. I always chill right here on the back deck in these uh, little chairs and I have a hole in my sock. Ah, feels nice. I wonder if my dad's home. Bosco Bird, what the heck? I haven't seen you in a while. Nope, yep, okay. I'm walking away. Bye bye. Oh, hello. Hi. 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 What? No, we got egged. Aww. All right guys, so I'm home now and I am gonna spend some time with my family probably get some work done and whatever else get my next YouTube video up So with that being said if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I will see you in the next video Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace uh, What's up guys? Wow, this lighting isn't great. Um, that's not bad. Okay. I'm here in Edmonton, Canada That vlog was only like three minutes long. So I apologize for that I just didn't record a lot because I was with my family for the first time in like two months But I thought I'd do a quick Q&A to finish this video up. All right, let's get started First question. Why are you in Edmonton, Canada? <laughs> because I was in Seattle. It was really close. I came to visit a friend um, So yeah, that's why I'm here, but I'm leaving 
in about an hour and 20 minutes. Second question, what's your favorite thing to do in Seattle? Um, of course, I love Pike Place. I think Pike Place is really cool. Oh, oh, oh speaking of that, boom. Pike Place coffee, that's really cool. And, and, I got my mom this Pike Place Special Reserve, if it'll focus. Pike Place Special Reserve, got it for my mom. Um, it's literally, the, you can only get this in uh, in Seattle, and it's different because it says uh, Starbucks Coffee Tea Spices, which is different than the other ones. Because I believe that was the original logo. I don't know, but don't take my word for it, but I'm pretty sure that's why. And because the first Starbucks, you know, was started in Seattle. All right, next. What's your favorite thing to do to pass time? That depends on where I'm at. When I was in Huntington Beach, um, going to the beach was my favorite pastime, especially like snorkeling or just exploring. I think my favorite thing to do just in general is just explore. Like, I love to explore. I love to see new things. I love fancy things like like this hotel I stayed at it was, it's called the Westin which is actually a partner of Delta yeah I just I love everything about just like seeing cool stuff and seeing unique places and the reason I like fancy stuff is usually because uh, something about the hotel or wherever you're at is super unique so I love that yeah I think that's probably my favorite thing what's your favorite clothing brand this is a hard one this is a hard one I don't really have a favorite clothing brand necessarily because I think the problem is I wear so many different unique things like everything that I'm wearing right now was all a different store like my jeans are pack sun because it's the only jeans I wear my shoes are like what brand are they Ashton Gray. I don't even know what that is. This was J. Crew. This is Banana Republic. Um, you guys know my watch and my belt, of course, I always wear. Yeah, so literally everything I'm wearing is different. And <laughs> my socks are from Meyer because those are also my favorite socks. There's that for you. What is it like flying in first class all the time? This is a question I actually wanted to address because I think what people don't realize, flying in first class is really cool. It's a cool experience. However, it's not necessarily worth paying for unless it's a really like long cross country flight and you get a meal. Because the only difference really um, between you and the rest of the passengers, if you're in first class, at least on Delta, I don't know other airlines, but um, sometimes you actually get less leg room than an exit row or a bulkhead like Comfort Plus C or something like that. The other difference is if you're 21, you can get alcohol for free. And then on a short flight, that's not like, you know, four hours long or three hours, three and a half hours long, something like that. Um, you can get uh, like access to like this premium snack bin, but really like the snacks are good Don't get me wrong. They're good But it's not like it's that much better to where you would really want to pay You know an extra probably five hundred or a thousand dollars for the seat It's not that's not worth it So really you get on a non cross-country flight you get a better seat bigger, you know seat I guess there's only two instead of three um, so the seat is nice sometimes a blanket and a pillow Which sometimes you get that in regular economy class anyway you get a bottle of water when you get on which again you know, trivial things you could buy that for way cheaper than the price of, of the seat. I might already say this, but you get better snacks and then you get free alcohol if you're 21. So those are great, but everything I just listed, except for the bigger seat, is available in Comfort Plus, which is one small upgrade, which is a lot cheaper. However, if you are flying across the country, it's a little bit more worth it. You get everything that I just mentioned, and then you also get a full-blown meal. And of course, you get a better seat for the entire long ride across the country. So I would say that it's maybe worth it to get that seat across the country, especially like on JetBlue, where if you fly from like New York to LA and also Delta, you get a bed seat. That's really cool. If you've seen, I mean, you've probably seen the videos of me flying in the bed seats. Those are really cool. Speaking of that, at 12,500 subscribers, I'm releasing another lost episode of when I flew uh, business class to Hong Kong. So make sure you subscribe right now and I will release that video. Anyway, so there's that. And then I'm trying to think, I think that's probably it. Sorry for the long rant. I think that's probably it about uh, first class. It's cool, but it's not worth paying, you know, a ton of money for. If you get free upgrades, then of course, but <sighs> I would not recommend paying a thousand dollars for a first class seat unless it's all the way across the country or a long flight international, something like that. But yeah, guys, I am not gonna rant anymore about travel. I will talk to you guys more about it. And I'm gonna make a video specifically about anxiety when I get back to Kansas. I'm going to Minneapolis in an hour. I'm going to pick up the next vlog there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Like I said, at 12,500 subscribers, shout out, I'm vlogging. At 12,500 subscribers, I will be releasing another lost episode when I went to Hong Kong. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Wait, 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 wait. Before I...